Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this awesome looking projector. This is called Fan Flix. Yes, it's similar to one of the other projectors that we have reviewed before, but this one has more lumens to it. What I'm trying to say is this is more brighter. So let's go through it one by one. This is modeled RD-282E and this is came out not that long ago. And I have to mention that their support is phenomenal. Plus this is 1080p native resolution can take up to 4K and 30 Hertz as we have tested. We will show you in the video. On top of that, this will go 300 inches. You want to play video game on this will work like charm. And yes, we will cover that in this video too. Do not want to forget if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click to click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon. Select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out this up. And don't forget to click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. In here are all the components that are part of the box. Now it comes with this user manual. The user manual is very thick. And when you go to it, it will tell you what languages this user manual have. And it's all going to be categorized with these little colors. So you know exactly where to look at. So the first part is English. And when you go to it, it has a table of content. It will tell you what is included in there. Now it comes with this little adapter for your older type of connections, something like VCRs or camcorders. In this case, also beta tapes. This is really going to help you out. As long as you have RCA connections, it will really work. And here's the headset jack. In this case, we call it an AV port. It is connected in three little parts that will give you audio and video. The video is yellow and then the red and white for your right and left audios. Now it also comes with a power line. This is how it really looks. And this part is connected for Canada, United States and some part of Caribbean. So you can use this and that way very easily can get power. Now, if you are located in different parts of the world, they will give you the proper connector so that we can connect. But again, it works perfectly. It also comes with one HDMI cable and it also comes with a remote that is mandatory to have. So once you open it and take it out, they put it in a plastic so it doesn't get scratched up, which is a cool thing. But once you go to the front, there is the IR sensor, which is on the top. And then you have the power, you have the source, and also you have the screen rotation here. Navigation key with the OK in the middle. And that's also going to work as your play and pause. And if you look inside of it, you also have the menu button, the return, home button, mute button. You have the volume up and down and also the skip for your videos to go back or go forward is all there. Now, there's nothing else here but a little LED, which we're going to put some batteries in it. It is not included in the box. And when you open the back, it takes two AAA batteries, which is very nice. And that's how you're going to close it. But nothing else around it. I really like this. It's very nice and simple when you put it on the floor it doesn't wobble that much which is a good thing now here is the big thing which is the actual projector it is nicely wrapped so that way nobody can open it and if it's open that means somebody already touched it and let's just open the part and there you go and now we can flip it and take it out of the plastic they put it in the plastics it's going to prevent you from getting damaged, but also it's going to not get scratched up. This is how it really looks. I really like their name on the front. You have the IR sensor. Then you have a cap for your actual lens, which you can take out. I really like that too. It's nice and big. That means that the quality should be a lot better. And then when we go to the sides of it, you have the dial. So this, so it gets in focus. As you can see right now, I'm just going back and forth so you can get it for focus. Now there is a little filter that you can take out. Now once in a blue moon, you do have to change this and you can take it out. It's very easily. You can buy another one to put it in. But here's all the insides. You can push it back in, put the side back on. So this is a nice filter. And then going to the back part of it, you have a lot of little parts. It will tell you this is 1080p, takes an HDMI cable, which we're going to show, which is already over here. You have a power connection, which is in the bottom. And here's the speaker, which nicely done. So you have two USB connections in the back. 
your IR sensor should be right over here. Then you have the headphone jack, or in this case, if you have speakers, you can connect right there. Then you have the AV port. The next part is the HDMI 1, HDMI 2. So that means is if you have Roku, or in this case, Fire Sticks, or you have Apple TV, you can connect it there. And if you have a console, go ahead, connect it on the second one. Now, when you go to the other side, again, there's nothing on this side, nicely designed, but there is little parts for ventilation. And this is where you're going to hear more fan noises. And then when you go to the actual top is where you will be finding all the buttons that are on top is on this remote. Here's the return and the full navigation key, which is all over here. And then the power itself is right there. So again, it's very nicely done. There's a little film on the top. I'm not going to take it off, but it looks really slick on how to design this. One more thing is going to be the bottom part of it. Now there are little sections that I'm trying to capture and make sure that everything is in this video is they have four little legs. So when you put it on the ground like this, it's not gonna move. There is a little part. So if you want to raise it, when you put it on the ground, there you go. So you get the angle properly. There are some holes for ventilation. You have a little sticker in the bottom that will give you your serial number and also it tells you exactly what type of voltage you really require for this to power up and there is nothing that i could say that you can put this upside down unless you want to take the screw off and put the screw there that would be one way or you can buy one of those trays and you can put the projector on it and then put that tray on the ceiling so you can get this properly but that's it let's go through and get this connected And when you turn it on, that's what you should see first. And then you can dial the focus so you can get it really focused. Now, when you turn on your projector for very first time, once the animation goes through and it goes in, this is the screen you should see. Everything is set up really nicely. Now going from the side, I have to first mention that it is very vibrant in a really dark environment. From the side, you have your home. This is the what you should see. Then you have your HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and then you also have the AV connection, which you can go to your VCRs and camcorders with that. Now, if you look on the top, you have Bluetooth. When it comes to Wi-Fi, I am connected to a Wi-Fi. We will go through settings and show you how that is possible. If there is a USB connection, it will show you there. And then also your settings button is right on the top, which is this one. And yes, when you move icons, there is a noise. You can hear it. This is how loud it is. So you can use your actual remote and then the, the volume down button so you can bring down the volume a little bit, which is very faint on the bottom. So this way you do not have to hear that clicking noise for the meantime. Once we get to videos, then we will bring the volume back up. Yes, there's mirror cast. And also if you have a iPad or iPhone, you can cast your videos and also the full screen on the projectors, you can take advantage of it. Plus, if you have anything on your USBs as a video, you can play, same thing with music. Also pictures, it's very mandatory to have these and also your office suite. So that means if you have documents, you wanna read it through this, it will be very vibrant on the screen so you will be very readable. Now this test is for the light. Right now we have our light off, but I have the window that is shining some light and there are some bleeding around the actual edges of the screen because the wall is a little off white color and the top is white and that's why you see those little bleedings when you're using this at home it will be the same so here you go this is with the ambient light or the regular light on inside of your house so you can see that i have a dimmer for my actual light that i can make it dimmer or i can make it bright as possible so this is a hundred percent bright is possible and for some reason the light is flickering as i can see it right now which is not that good but here you go this is how it really looks so when i turn it off this is going to look beautiful on a daylight with the windows as you can see on the side or we have the actual video playing and also the sound is really good with this too so this was just a test with the light on or light off 
Now setting is a huge spot for this, which I'm trying to cover first thing on the video. You have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, also screen positioning, which we will capture and then update also other settings and then about. So let's go first under Wi-Fi. As long as it is turned on, you will see that your Wi-Fi names will come up. And now once you select as an example, this one, here's the best part. This bottom part is very vibrant. And now you will be able to select your password. And the one more thing I have to mention, so you're going to press back so you can come down and you can make your password visible or not visible. So either it shows it as stars or actual letters. So when you say on, then that way you can see what you're typing, which will be a lot better. And then you can just go to connect or cancel in this case, which I am already connected, as you can see right over here. And that's how the Wi-Fi part really works. Next part is going to be Bluetooth settings. Now, this is a really cool thing. Now, anything that you have as Bluetooth right now on hand will be able to connect to this. Now, at the moment, I do not have any of my little speakers since I have given it away, but it's very easy right now to set up. And you can see right now it is circling. That means as it is searching for devices and you can turn it off. So that way Bluetooth is totally turned off or you can turn it on so it can start searching for Bluetooth connections. And then you will be able to pair to your speakers and voila, then you can use it. Now, next part is going to be a really big part, which is called projection settings. This is very big. Now, I have to mention that you can see the first part is if you want to put your projector in a front so it can project to the screen or if you have a screen that you have a room in the back and you want to project so you can see it from the back, you can easily do that. There you go. This is the back screen projection. And then you can also make it upside down. So if you have it on the ceiling upside down, this is possible. And also if you have it from the rear and upside down, so that also can be possible and then the front. So they have a few different ways that here's the big, big part is the Keystone Advanced. So you can select it or you can make it to go to the sides. So this is something very simple to play with. So when you put it on a side and you want to just select OK, now you can make the screen to go bottom or top. You can see that right now that you can select it. And then this way, when you press OK, it goes to the corner on the top. Now you can press it down. So this way, if your projector is sitting on a side, you're still going to get now easily can be reset it by actually saying it right over there to press the menu button or the hamburger button. And this way it will be fixed very quickly. That's not the only thing. If you want to go back and you change this to front, now you have a manual setup that you can just press right or left and it will be tilted back and forth. And this way you can fix it too. So make sure this is zero. That means it is all nicely set up. Or if you want to go the bottom part of it, let's go backward. And if you want to go the bottom part of it to tilt because you have set up certain things, here you go. This is how it's done too. Now, these are all done digitally. It's not done by the actual part of the lens or anything like that, which is a really good thing. Now, another part is the digital zoom. Now, this is how you will be able to make the screen smaller and it is very fast and you can make it go back to a full 100% screen, which I really like this. So this way, if you want to make the screen smaller, if you want to do video editing or you want to use this projector as a second screen for your computer, go ahead, connect it and it will work perfectly for you since the vi the screen light is very nicely done. On this case, we call it the resolution and also the, how bright it is and how sharp it is. You can really use it for your computer as a second screen. Now that one, one part. Now another part is that if you're connected as Wi-Fi, you can look online for an update and you can just select it and it will tell you if there is any update available. Right now you can see that it shows I am up to date, so there's nothing there. If you have downloaded a firmware on a USB, you can connect it at the back of your projector and then you can go through here to update it. Or if you want to factory reset this, if you want to sell it, give it away, or you want to give it to one of your family members to use it, then they can set up as their own needs of color, vibration, and also in this case, so going through the sound quality. Yes, we will get there too. You can do it all through this. Now, other settings will cover your boot source and also your 
power on option with the boot source is really cool you can directly as soon as you boot it up goes to hdmi one or two or a v port or you can just leave it off in this case i just always want to see the main screen i will have it under off now going under power options you always like to keep it on standby you want to say direct to shut off that is possible too language option you can change it and there is different languages that you can select and the other part is the schedule shutdown so if you are going to use it only for an hour or two or you're very tired and you know you're going to fall asleep after an hour leave it on different times and in that way it automatically just shuts off once that time reaches or you fell asleep and you forgot so you don't use that much of, of the lamp there you go you can use that too it will really help you out and that's about it now the next part is about that shows your your mac address and also your system version it's all going to be over here now the next part is called Mirrorcast. since i don't have any iphone or ipads just going to use this and it will be exactly the same when you want to select it so you have to go in this screen and then it will show you on your phone it will show you what screen do you you have and yes i just dropped it so there's a little broken screen right here so once you find it you have to select the actual part and then it will ask you to click on start we're going to say start and you have to remember the name because it will be on the screen right over here it will tell you and then once it starts sharing it's very easy you just have to flip and it will work for you very easily the best part is that if you want to go to your one of your apps like this one called kits you will see that automatically it just changes and now you have it on a big screen so you can play with it very easy and very nicely so this is how easy it is to set up your screen with your projector so here you go this is the number we get from the actual white screen that is projected from the projector now i'm not that far from the actual projector so it shows it's out of 2000 and it is on 726 ish that it goes up and down to now when i go really near to the actual screen i know that my hand is shaking because this is free hand it is out of 200 and it is about 119 maximum that we got out of it and yes this is bluetooth 5.2 it will work with your iphones android and even you can connect it to your computer so you can listen to music yes it's a little bit over the top this is a sound test for fan noise all right so in this part of the video i wanted to show that how good the quality is with this number one is the corners as i'm showing you right now is really in focus and number two is when you go near to the screen how much pixels do you see now using source is very easy too you just have to go on it and select and yes there's a noise from the actual projector that will allow you to know that you're moving the icons you can see right now and just went to hdmi one and i'm going to select it and this is one of our screens that we can use in order for us to place certain things on it so number one is intake for this projector is 4k and let me show you where you can see that so as you can see on the top this is 4k so let me select it to show you that yes it does work 4k do work with this projector and now i am connected as actual 4k on this android box that i connected to this it looks very vibrant the way that everything is set up i really like how it's all working one by one so one thing i was playing and yes there's going to be a little noise in the back because of our videos playing is when you have your remote on hand and you're going to press your menu button which is the little hamburger button you're going to get that little menu on the side one says picture and one says sound so when you press the picture part this is how you will be able to select and make your brightness your contrast your saturation and also your sharpness all going to be right here or you can make it to even go to a cooler temperature that means it makes it more bluish on the screen that's not what we are here for the second thing is sound yes i was playing a sound and it didn't have much any bass 
I noticed that when I go to it, the bass, you can change it. And now your voice have this little sound to it now that it's getting really strong. Same thing when you're playing a movie or a song, you need that bass part. And also you can use this and also the balance. You can make it fixed or you can go to equalizer detail and you can set it up even more in detail to make this speaker even better now this is the inside of the actual projector base that you can play with and it will play out if you have connected your speaker through this also going to affect it and if you have headphones on or speakers connected directly as a audio jack at the back of this it will be changed so it is something very cool to play with all right so this is gta 5 and here's my controller so now you can tell if there is any kind of lag when you are playing this so you can see that that I am moving right and then left and then going straight. So you can tell me if there is any kind of delay while you're processing it. I know that there's a call coming in the game for me. I understand that. But I'm just going to show you exactly how fast this will react when you want to play with something like this. So easy peasy and it works perfectly for you. This projector is really nice when you're trying to play games with it. So this was my take to show you exactly what type of lag you will get. There you go, you can see that. Now all the links will be available where you can order this from. And on top of that, if you have questions, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out, Isa. And don't forget to visit both of our channels and our website, which is exitex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.